Welcome back to the Sports Perspective TV viewers and subscribers. As always, thank you for tuning in. And uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel as yet, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button. We definitely appreciate that. Right, so as you can tell from the thumbnail, we're going to be uh, previewing the second T20 between the West Indies and South Africa. And also sharing with you my starting lineup. And we'd definitely like for you to share your starting lineup as well. And also, we're going to be talking about the reserves for the T20 World Cup. So tomorrow is May 25th. And uh, Desmond Haynes did say um, they have until the 25th to name their reserves. So the reserves will, will also be named tomorrow. So I'm going to be sharing um, with you as well. The, the people who I think will be named by reserves for the team and also given reasons as to why I think so, right? So let's stay around to the end of the video um, while we discuss all of these topics, right? So um, so starting with the, the reserves, right? So let me just get the reserves out of the way. Um, I think the the reserves um, will be um, Kyle Mayers and uh, Obed McCoy. I think those will they I think they will be the, the reserves um for this team. Um reason being, um, as far as Kyle May is concerned, um he he batted not only did he bat well in the first T20, right? But if you think about it from an injury um standpoint, um as to the, the West Indies players that have had injury concerns of late, um you think about a Brandon King, you know, definitely hoping that King doesn't get injured, but Think about a Brandon King who has been injured recently, and also Shimron Hetmeyer who just returned from injury in a, in the IPL, right? Um, so having Kyle Mayers as that batting reserve, Kyle Mayers can fill the slot of a Brandon King. You know, definitely hoping that King doesn't get injured, but if he does, Kyle Mayers can fill that slot. And if Hetmeyer gets injured again, definitely hoping Hetmeyer doesn't get injured as well. Kyle Mayers can also fill that slot for Hetmeyer batting in the middle order. So having Kyle Mayers as a reserve, you know, based on the, the players that have been injured recently, would definitely be a good choice. Plus, he batted well in the first T20. The other reserve, Obed Mackay, I mean, I think it goes without saying, um, he's been bowling well since his return from injury. And um, not only that, but his left-handed um, bowling with his all his variations and, and variety, it, it 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 provides something different, you know, to the team or for the team, right? So, I think those will be the, the reserves um, that will be named. Um, again, Cricket West Indies have until the 25th, which is tomorrow, to name their reserves. Um, but I do think Kalmeas and uh, Oben Makai will be uh, the reserves to name um, for, for the T20 World Cup. All right, moving on now to the second T20. Um, I definitely see the team making some changes, you know, especially even though the team won, especially after that batting performance um, where the, the middle order collapsed. Um, I can definitely see the team making a few changes, even if the, the batting order batted well. Um, remember, it's a it's a preparation series for the, the team um, in, in preparation for the World Cup. And um, I in the for the first match, it was a bit surprising to see that Jason Holder and uh, Romario Shepard were left out as players who um who are in the T Twenty World Cup squad. But no, when you think about it from the perspective of the the West Indies um, having to name the reserves by the twenty fifth, you can understand why they were left out to give those players a, an opportunity. The players with who can potentially make it as a reserve to give them an opportunity to prove themselves for the selectors and Darren Sami so they can um, make the best decision as it relates to the reserves. Right? So um, now that the reserves are out of the way, um, I do expect that all the players who are in the T20 World Cup squad, that they will um, take part in the match tomorrow. So with that being said, um, Jason Holder and Romario Shepard would come in into my team um, and replacing I would replace um, uh, Andre Fletcher and um, I would say Matthew Ford, right? So it's either Andre Fletcher, Matthew, Matthew Ford, or Fabian Allen. Um, I think what Fabian Allen provides with the bat um, and the ball, it gives him an edge, so he might still remain in the lineup. So I would say uh, Jason Holder will come in to replace um Jason Holder and Shepard will replace um, Andre Fletcher and Matthew Ford, in my opinion. Um, Matthew Ford definitely bowled well, but 
I don't think he will be named as a reserve for the the the, the World Cup. You know, just because there are, there are a lot of bowlers there that do similar things that that he does. You know, bowl with a similar pace, and uh, he doesn't really. Even though he is t- kind of an all rounder, um, his ability with the bat is not superior to players that are currently in the team, right? So, yeah. So I would say Matty Ford and Andre Fletcher is out of the team. So with that being said, um, my starting lineup for um the match tomorrow would be you know Brandon King, Charles, um, Mayers. Still in, in the team. Um Rust and Chase. Uh when it gets to five now, this is where it gets a bit tricky. So it's us as a Fabian Allen or Fabian Allen. So I'm just gonna name name the um the eleven um in no particular order, but Fabian Allen, um Jason Holder, Romario Shepherd, Akil Hussein, Gurakesh Moti, Shamar Joseph, and uh, Obed Makai. Right. So that would be uh, my starting eleven. Again, uh, so Brandon King. Charles, Mayers, Chase, Allen, Holder, Shepard, Hossein, Moti, Joseph, and Makai. Right? Again, so all, all the players that are in the T20 World Cup squad that have been confirmed in the T20 World Cup squad, I think they'll definitely play in the remaining matches um, to get them much sharp and much fit and ready for the World Cup. Right? So that's my squad. Uh, viewers and subscribers definitely share your squad in the in the in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on, on, on the team that, that I have that I would select right obviously I'm not a selector or a coach so the final say comes down to to, to coach Darren Sammy tomorrow in deciding what the starting level would be but definitely let me know what you think about the starting eleven and share your your starting eleven in the comment section as well. Um and let me know what you think about the reserve. So, like I said, I think Kyle Mayers and Obed McCoy, they they will um they will be named as the reserves um, based on a few things, right? Kyle Mayers, you know, his ability to open and bat in the middle order. If a Brandon King or a Shimon Hitmeyer gets injured, and McCoy, he just brings something different to the bowling attack, right? So that's all I have for you in this video, viewers and subscribers. As always, thank you for tuning in. Um, do remember to like the video and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.